we're the Murrays, trying to master the art of growing up one day at a time. So today is, what's today? Do you know, Tyler? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay, today is 10 o'clock. Um, today is, what day is it? It's Wednesday, and yesterday was kind of crazy. We're trying to get back into our routine, so I had like a week and a half of really, really awesome um, girls were napping together and then sleeping with no problems and no, we that was a miracle for us so no, we, we, we will paint at night time oh, okay. bye bye oh put him down Tyler you want to go help her with Francis he Come looks in. he looks a little scared buddy hold him with two hands all right there you go no Good Francis job. no I'm gonna hold you you got it Judy uh, I got it are you right there with me yeah I'll dance with you hold on so anyway, um, so we were trying to, I'm trying to get them back into their routine. We had a few like late nights or missed snaps and that threw them way off and it was just, it was just never good for Tyler. She does a lot better with structure and with her routine. Um, she always has. She's the kid that always went to bed at 6.30 and slept till 8 when she was younger and then, yeah. Somehow we get more kids, get off schedules, and just kind of wing it, and that turns out that that's really not good for her. So we've gotten to a place where we have a schedule finally after having Adeline, and it's been good. But again, when they get off it, it's kind of wild. So I've just been catching up the past couple of days. Yesterday, Tyler was on one of our chairs in the living room and was turned around to talk to Elena, I think, or something. I was in the kitchen making them lunch and the chair tipped down and she hit her face and broke her tooth. So you want to show them your tooth, buddy? Let's see. That's what Wait, I open that up. only showed them. But I'm going to show them again. <sighs> Wait, you're open too wide. Right there. You see she chipped off half of the front of her tooth and chipped the top one and bit her tongue and your boo-boo on your chin. <laughs> And and my and oh, and you yeah. hurt your lip today. Yep, she got a bloody lip. Oh, look at this. Thing. And I got the blood. Yeah. In my mouth. So that happened yesterday. Hey, um, hey, hey. <coughs> I'm gonna show them one more day. Okay. And look, my nose. Alina oh, did that. Oh, scratch on your nose. Yeah, Alina did that. I'm mama. sorry. Well, you got her back with her lip today. Um. So anyway, I'm taking her to the dentist. Yeah. Uh, my friend Janine is coming to stay with the other girls, thankfully, because John had to work. And I do not want to take them all to the dentist during nap time. That would be miserable. So I'm taking Tyler today to hopefully get her tooth fixed. And yeah, at, yeah, at the, yeah, at the dentist. Do you like your dentist? Yeah, he's a good fixer and she's a good fixer too. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, we don't want you to fall and break your pretty teeth either, so come on. I cut Judy's bangs, and they look cute. You know, they stay out of her face, but then they keep falling down, and when they fall down, they aren't cut quite straight. Because <laughs> I cut them to the side so that they'd lay to the side. Judy, let me see. So it's cute when it's like that, but then when it goes straight... Let me see your hair. Come here. Come here. You're a little stinker. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Don't fall. Don't fall. <laughs> I still haven't gotten to clean the playroom, but that will happen sooner or later. Yeah. You got your frenzy, buddy? So yeah, see, there's the bangs. Let me see your hair, Judy. Look at mommy. Say cheese. Right here, say cheese. But they look cute when they're over, so we just got to try to clip them and get them to stay. Okay, so we just pulled into the dentist, right Tyler? We are about to go get Tyler's tooth looked at and fixed. Hopefully um, there's something that they can do for it. I have a feeling they'll just fill it in. It doesn't look like the tooth's dead, but I don't know. They might have to do x-rays and stuff, so hopefully it's not too bad. Um, where'd you go, Tyler? Where'd you go, buddy? Come on, come get out. I'll be here! All right, come get out. So anyway, that is what we are doing. Here we are, ready? See you in a little bit. You were scared from what? I'm a little bit scared because, because they put that poison thing on to me. I was a little bit scared. Oh, but you were brave. He said, um, Dr. Horowitz said that she 
He said he almost had to tie her down. She was wild, just bouncing off the walls, hyper back there. And I was like, yeah, I was getting a little worried. It took like almost an hour. And I was like thinking, just imagining Tyler back there with them and how she doesn't like to sit still, so. But I think she did a good job. They're all cracking up at her on the way out. She said, coming mother. And they all thought that was really funny. <laughs> Well, it is lunchtime here at the Murray house, and we've got, what are you eating today, Tyler? Hot dog, fruit, veggie straws. Yeah, today they are having veggie hot dogs, some veggie straws, and some fruit. I have so, fruit. Yeah, yeah, yummy. They had this, I made this new recipe, it's like a vanilla um, cranberry quinoa for breakfast. <laughs> And Jude liked it, and Elena ate some when I put it in my own bowl. I don't know about Tyler. I think she ate a little bit of it. Oh, yeah, she said she ate some, too. So that's what they had. I've actually been working really hard on making more meals. I think John might have said that the other day. But just making a meal plan for the month. Um, I did that before. It's been a while. <clears throat> but I found that it's a lot cheaper. So we'll go buy groceries for usually two or three weeks worth. And so that's expensive. But if I actually have it planned out, then I stick to the meals every day. And then we're not eating out. It's not like, oh man, it's already 4.30. We need to get dinner going. I don't feel like making anything. I don't have anything to make. And then we end up like ordering food or whatever. So um, I'm trying to be really intentional about eating at home and just using groceries more than eating out because we've spent so much money on food um, just from being lazy about it, which I will give myself grace. I do give myself grace, you know, having a baby is a lot and so it's a lot to adjust to. But yeah, I'm feeling really good. So this is what I've written out a menu like for the month. So I take all the weeks and I've actually figured out breakfast, lunch and dinner. And part of that is to help John know in the morning he gets up with the girls sometimes and lets me sleep in. So that's kind of like for him to know what to make them in the morning. Um, and also so I can balance their meals throughout the day. So like on a day that they have grilled cheese for lunch, I don't want to feed them something with a lot of cheese for dinner. I try to keep dairy kind of to a minimum throughout the day. And then, yeah, so I've been writing on this little board each day the night before what's for breakfast which John actually erased and wrote me a little sweet note isn't that sweet and then I'll write lunch and dinner um, and then yeah I'll just start over the next day so it's been going well I've really only been doing it for this week so we'll see how long it lasts is this is the quietest it's been probably all morning because they're all shoving their faces full of fruit Judy are you gonna eat your hot dog are you gonna eat your hot dog you gonna see yourself you see yourself? <laughs> oh, Juju. Oh, and we got little Adeline crying. They, oh, you were just upset because you've been sleeping instead of eating. Look how sweet she is. Guys, she's getting so big. I can't even, I can't even. That phrase. I just say, I can't believe how fast the time's gone. Go, gone. She's almost two months old already and it's kind of freaking me out. <clears throat> I realize Tyler will be five this year, and Jude and I, will be two I, next I, month. And I told my baby yeah, two. Yeah. Month, yeah. Jude, yeah, she's going to be two next month. Her birthday is March 26th. Well, we're not going to be two next month. You're not going to be two. You're going to be five, but not, but not until September. Francis is over there. See him? He always finds this, like, little warm spot to... What you doing, Francis? He just want to spin on the sun, Mama. Yeah. He does like to find sunny spots. I don't blame him. It's rainy and dreary out. 
kind of nasty weather. I'm hoping it gets nice this weekend. And then randomly, what, yesterday was 70 degrees. And I think three or four days from now, they're calling for snow. So welcome to North Carolina. That's wonderful. We can fight with sticks Hey, Judy. We can fight with sticks if we want because Go sticks eat. don't break. Eat your veggie straws. Your snacks. Eat your snacks. Yeah. That's her favorite word. Lately, Jude says, I want nag. I want nag. And it means I want snacks, but it's really funny. I want nag. Makes me laugh. Anyway, so I am going to go. That way I can feed Adeline before nap time. And then this nap time, I really need to make progress in our room. We got paint. I got all new bedding. I told John for my birthday I wanted to um, finally do our master bedroom. So <clears throat> I need to clean it out first. We've got a lot of like piles of laundry and things to get rid of and stuff. And I've been collecting it all up there. So I need to kind of keep going through and minimizing everything that we have. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to paint and get everything put together. So that is what I'm going to do during nap time. Hopefully. If Adeline looks me. What do you think, Adeline? You think you're hungry. Judy, go eat your snack. Uh -huh. You ready to go nap then? Yeah. You're a big helper. What a sweet sister. I help you. Hey guys, too. Just a reminder: if you don't follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Periscope, all that stuff, please come follow us and do that stuff. We do. We have, you know, we post pictures throughout the day. Um, we haven't gone on Periscope much lately, but we want to do that more. Um, but that's like live streaming, so we'll actually be live on Periscope, and you can, you know, send us comments and stuff through that. And we can see that. So. Um, yeah, so uh, make sure you keep up with us on those social media outlets because we try to post as much on YouTube, but there's, it's easier for us sometimes just to throw a quick update on Facebook or Instagram or something. So check those out. We are the Murrays for all of those things. We are the Murrays. So do it. Do it now. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button to follow along with the Murrays. Subscribe.